Okay. This message is for Jalen and Ashley Wilson because I saw a post the other day about um, you guys wanted to get in touch with um, I forgot his name but he's a known guy who was um, once um, you know a, a, a Satanist and now he is a believer in Christ I forgot his name but anyways, um, I hope you guys did get in touch with him. Um, at the same time, um, in the meantime, in between time, uh, you, God wants you to know that um, sometimes we look to people um, for our help. And um, God is our help. You know, so when there's no um, person you know, to call on, or when there's no, um, you know, help from, from man, God is our help, and um, he does use his people to help his people. At the same time, God wants us to first look at him for our help, so, and this is not any form of a judgment or anything this is just more to enlighten because it's something that I've learned you know um, I was dealing with things um, and I was you know seeking pe certain people out to you know for help but um, God showed me that um, to come to him first and then he also showed me that through his power I am helped of him so I don't need nobody to you know we we as his children we have the authority he has given us authority so we don't need anybody to lay hands on us we don't need anybody to even pray for us we can pray for ourselves you know we don't need to seek anybody for anything sometimes God leads us to seek people sometimes God's us God leads us to to certain people that's very true at the same time certain situations God wants to do it on his own through him through you the individual person for his glory so I don't know what you guys situation are is I don't know what's going on I just know that I saw a post and it led me to just talk about it because it, it had to do with spiritual warfare and this is something that I've learned about spiritual warfare is that God is in control of all. God, you know, God knows about evil because he created evil. He created good as well, okay? Um, God is not evil. No, he isn't. Um, but if you look at examples in the Bible, God has control over evil and over good. For instance, in the Bible, when it talks about um, in, in Exodus, when... Um, when Moses came to Pharaoh to tell him to let his people go. Um, Moses came to him, Pharaoh, several times. And each time Pharaoh denied him and basically blasphemed the name of God. And, um, I mean, there was a certain time where he did let them, you know, he did hearken to it. But then he turned back to not hearken into it. And in that word, it, it states that God hardened his heart. You know, so God does certain things in certain situations because for his glory. So he hardened Pharaoh's heart purposefully because he wanted to show his people that he was their strong arm. He was their deliver deliverer. He was their savior. Not Pharaoh. Not Pharaoh letting them go. But God let them go. And he hardened Pharaoh's heart because of the fact that he, he wanted to get the glory out of it. Okay? And also, in the Bible, it talks about 
God made different vessels, okay? So there are vessels of honor and vessels of dishonor. And certain people God has made as vessels of dishonor, you know, for his purpose. Um, so that there may be a separation between evil and good, okay? So um, there's God's children. And then there's Satan's children. And there's a there's a very equal balance for all of that. And then at the same time, God is in control of the evil because of the fact that he brings his judgment on people. Okay? So how we know God is in control of evil, because look at the things that he did to Pharaoh. Look at all of the things that all of the curses that he sent upon Pharaoh because Pharaoh was just purely evil. And God did harden his heart more. Yes, he did. And that was because Pharaoh was already a wicked man. And God just God just added to his wickedness because just as the word says, he um he gave them over to he gave him over Two, I forgot that scripture, but I know you guys would know what I'm talking about, and I know whoever would watch is going to watch this is going to know who I'm talking about. God, uh, when okay, say I I don't I can't quote it word for word, but say if you just want to do evil and you just continue in it, no matter how much times God God has shown you that that what you're doing is wrong but you just don't care about God's conviction and you just keep going into doing that thing. So God will give you over to that thing. If because he he's he's basically like saying to you like, "Okay, I'm trying to show you that you can choose me and that you don't have to do that thing and that evil thing anymore. You don't have to do that sin anymore, but yet you keep turning away from me and not listening to me. So I'm going to let that thing overtake you." I'm going to let your wickedness overtake you. I'm going to let your envy overtake you. I'm going to let your your sinful desire, your lust, your um your anger, you know, I'm going to he 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 will allow things to overtake you because of your own evil heart. You get what I'm saying? So God God didn't necessarily just make him like, you know, cause to harden his heart for no reason he allowed his heart to be hardened because pharaoh was already a wicked man so god gave him over to his wickedness and then he destroyed him so god is in control of evil to bring judgment upon the workers of iniquity okay so now when it comes to his children who are dealing with spiritual warfare god uses that evil to make his children stronger, okay? But just as the word says, we will pass through this, we will pass through this, we will pass through that, and those things will not touch us, okay? We will pass through many things, the fire, we will pass through the, the, the floods, we will pass through everything, and nothing will touch us. He will part that Red Sea in every situation for us. So whatever level of spiritual warfare you, 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 uh, uh, Jalen and Ashley Wilson are dealing with, or maybe you were, you were, you needed to know that information for another brother or another sister. Whatever you guys need, um, you just talk to, and I, I know you know to talk to God about it, but I'm just saying that this is a message, hopefully, to, that will, um, edify, um, so that you will know that. God is in control of even the evil. So if if you're dealing with spiritual warfare, God is allowing you to go through certain things to make you a stronger soldier for him. Because if you're a soldier and there's no battle, what you know, how can how can you be a soldier when there's no battle? You know what I mean? How can you just like if you are in a military in in you know in, in an actual military if there's no battle going on 
how will you be, be prepared to be a soldier? You get what I'm saying? So you, God is preparing you to be a soldier. And this is why you are going through certain levels of spiritual warfare. And this is, this is, this, this is what it is. This is that spiritual warfare that he puts his, that he allows and puts his children through because he needs us to be stronger and he needs us to endure. Um, and, um, the next thing is, um, uh, okay, there are many examples of evil in the Bible, okay? Um, I can think of John the Baptist when he was beheaded, okay? And, um, he, and, uh, God, uh, the disciples came to visit John, and, um, John asked him, like, is this the Christ, or should we look for another? You know, because he didn't understand why he was being put in prison. I mean, he, I'm sure he understood, but he was still a little bit distraught about it, you know? So, God told him, tell John, you know, the the blind the blind see the dead are raised you know the 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 lepers are cleansed the you know the you know so he told him or every single example of what was happening to give him an example that don't don't be deceived you you are um You are, um, you're seeing right. You're seeing, you're, you're seeing what, what the truth is. So don't, and he said, blessed are those that are not offended in me or, or something to that nature. So basically God was telling him that, yeah, your situation may not look like God is in it. Because you're going through a fiery trial right now. You're going through a trial that just doesn't look like, why? if this is God, why am I going through this such unpleasurable experience? You know, John was beheaded. Like, that's, that's the worst thing up in the world. You know what I mean? And he was, he, was, he, was, he, was, he was imprisoned, and then he was beheaded. So he was probably sitting around, like, in prison, like, why why am i here like god is good why am i here and 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 jesus he he sends he sends him back the message that blessed are those that are not offended in me you know so god that was a message to just show that some things unpleasurable will happen to us because we are in a war okay and we are soldiers for the kingdom at the same time, these things are making us stronger, and God is getting the glory of uh, out of this. So, just as Job, okay, Job's wife told told him to to curse God and die because of all of the things that he went through. And remember, at the end, when Job was crying out and just and his friend Eliphaz was was basically judging him because he was basically saying that Job must have did something wrong. That, and that's the reason why God's judging him. But remember, God told Satan, have your way with him. Just don't kill him. So God was in control of that evil. He, he gave Satan permission to mess with him. Okay? And, um, and, and it shows even more an example of God being in control. Because at the end, when, when Job was talking to God, God said, look at the Leviathan and how it moves, and how this and that. He gave every characteristic of the Leviathan. He gave every characteristic of, like, of different things that God, that he, God has made. And he was like, I'm in control of, of all of those things. So he let Job know that he was in control because Job, you know, was kind of, uh, he was, he was, a. Uh, I don't know how to explain it, but he 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 had a certain uh, 
disposition or a certain uh, um, discourse towards God, you know, not that he was disrespectful to him or not that he was, um, you know, being, you know, saying things negative towards God, but he was just calling out to God, like, Lord, help me. Like, why am I going through this? And he, and he had a certain, um, you know, he expressed his hurt to God and God came to him at the end in the, in the end of the book of Job and he's just like look at all he gave him examples of every single thing and he's like look at all of these things look at this look at look at the sea look at this God gave him all examples of how he was in control and he was trying to show Job that look I'm in control of all of these things and I'm in control of the fact that you weren't that you went through such a hard time God was showing him that he was in control. So again, this is a message to show you that God knows what you're going through and he is in control of everything. So there is no level of spiritual warfare. There is no no demon, no evil spirit, no 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 um no evil, no no um no evil, no, no, nothing harmful, you know, is going to overtake you because God is in control and he is in control of even the evil that you may be going through. Again, the, look at the several examples in the Bible, the Job situation, the, um, the Exodus, um, Moses situation with the, with the Israelites there's many examples in the Bible where God was in control and he uses these things to make his soldiers stronger. He uses these things to get the glory. So I'm going to show you right here in Colossians chapter one. And if you look at this verse right here at 15, it says he is the preeminence of Christ. He is the image of the invisible God, the first one of the firstborn of all creation for by him all things were created okay so that shows even evil was created by him okay just as when you look in the beginning of the book of the bible uh adam and eve the, the knowledge of the tree of good and evil okay god has has power over that he has authority of that good and that evil and that's why he told adam and eve not to touch that tree they touched it and now they fell okay so God put that tree there because he has control over that tree of good and evil. And he don't want he didn't want his kids to touch it, but they they disobeyed him. So now we have knowledge of good and evil because of what happened. Are we forgiven for that sin? Yes, and that's why he came into the world to forgive us, to give us a way back to God because the first Adam didn't know no better. Or he knew better, but he ain't do no better. <laughs> So God had to come and give us a way back to a way back to him with the second Adam, which is Jesus Christ. OK, so through Jesus Christ, we have he, he is the second Adam. OK, and we have a way back to God through him. So, again, he is the image of the invisible God, the first one of all creation. For by him all things were created in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities. All things were created through him and for him. Okay, so this this is just just I hope this just sheds so much light on what you what you guys may be going through or whoever you needed that uh, information for that guy for this because um, of spiritual warfare. This is the light okay this sh this is this should shed some light that god isn't created he is he is in control over all of that and again it's to make his show his show not shoulders soldiers <laughs> stronger okay it's for his glory it's for everything it's so that you can understand that okay yeah i went through that but god brought me out god delivered me yeah, I went through that fiery trial, but God was in that fiery trial. He was in that boat with me. You know, he was in that storm with me. 
and those those waves didn't touch me that boat didn't didn't uh turn over you know that fire did not overtake me you understand so god is in creator he he is in control of all of these things the evil and the good okay and he is in control of that evil because that evil that he is in control of helps to bring judgment on the workers of iniquity that are doing th or that are trying to do things against his people because remember they may try but they shall not prosper so whatever you may be going through just know god is in control and they may try but they ain't gonna prosper so just keep knowing that you know things may get tough but just keep knowing and declaring that no god is good so whatever i'm going through is for a reason and just keep building up your wisdom and knowledge and ask god to show you how to fight in this battle you know more and more and he and he you know he knows how to build his his soldiers up so um be strong and uh god is with you and um god bless you guys in jesus mighty name